All right, good evening everyone. Welcome back to Pathologic. So, we are having uh, restarted the day a little bit, making some progress here. We need to go talk to... Where's this two? Hang on. Real quick, can I talk to Vlad about other things? I didn't actually really try talking to him all that much. I should probably go make sure I'm not missing any dialogue options, because if I can just get him to tell me things without having to go and deal with the, uh, the dude in the other house, that would save me a lot of time. Oh, I can't go through that door. Hello. It is easier to govern others than to prevent being governed. Ah. Ah, okay. Yeah, there's other things I can ask about. Um... Did Isra visit you last night? Isra did pay me a visit, but don't ask what we talked about. I have no right to share that with you. Uh, it's because that would make you betray your father, isn't it? Yes. Seems it's better to put the cards on the table with you. So far, you're coming across as a very smart person. You've talked to my father already. What do you know? Uh, everything. Almost everything. All I want to know is where you come into play. Eh. Hmm. Do I lie to him, or do I play to his conscience? Let's try playing to his conscience. Isidore said, note that I'm merely retelling it secondhand. He said there's an epidemic in the steppe camps, an outbreak of Tarbagan sickness, perhaps. The plague, that is. Father, father had issued an order to lock the termitary up to prevent the infection from getting in. And yeah, let's see, and what are you so afraid of that you would conceal this? I don't understand you did the right thing. Do you think Isidore had already been infected when he spoke with you? There's an underlying sensitive family matter here. To cut a long story short, my father would kill me if he found out about this conversation. The unrest in the termitary, you see. Well, I incited it to make father lock it up. He didn't believe Isidore. I see. Now everything makes sense. We need to warn Reuben. It's very urgent. He's about to examine Simon as soon as the period of time required by the Canes passes, but where is he? I have no idea. Where is he staying? I don't know. There's a secret dissecting room in one of the warehouses, but no one knows where exactly. He used to live mostly in the steppe, sometimes sleeping in the termitary or at Lara Ravel's shelter, but he's not there. I know that for sure. He went away to mourn his master. What would you have done if you were him? Resign myself and left the place for good. My investigation is over. Wait for him in the canes. Check every warehouse. Okay. All right, good. So that has progressed our main quest, I think. Yes, investigation of double murder has introduced a few additional considerations. It's highly possible that Simon died to some unfamiliar disease. Stock Rubin, the town medic, should be warned at once. If he touches the body, he may contact whatever disease still remains there. Okay, so I need to go find Rubin. I still don't quite know where the warehouses are. We can go check Ruben's prosecutorium that's, like, over there. Prosectorium, sorry. But I don't, like, I don't know which of these buildings are the warehouses. Oh. Oh, I didn't use my bandage. I just dropped it on the ground. Okay, how do I use it, then? Oh, there we go. That used it. Okay, good. That restored some health. I think I just clicked the wrong button. I'm also going the wrong way. We want to try and find Ruben's Prosectorium. So it should be this one right here. The burning trash can outside. Ah. She's not here. Is there anything in here that can help me? I don't actually know what Ruben looks like. I just need to find Ruben. It's my next. Got a microscope and everything. Well. I mean, I don't particularly want to just wait at the canes until I can meet Ruben. Since I suspect, uh, 
That will eat up a little bit too much of my time. Oh. Hello. You look very... I don't know that happy is the right word. You look like you're in a stroke. Huh. Oh, hi. A part of sent to the well is broken at last. Uh, welcome to your guest. Give a man something to drink. Let him grab a bite. Sit him down comfortably. Show our big city guest some respect and don't let him out until I say otherwise. Uh, where am I? You're obvious, the Brotherhood of Thieves. That's where you are. You got two options now, you do. Dine in hell with us or run like hell from us. Uh, let me go in peace. I'm a doctor. Since you just met Doc, you go in peace for the first and last time. But next time, your exit will cost extra. Keep that in mind. Nah, that ain't no simple lass. Got a keen eye for playing tricks. Takes one to know one. Um. What do you got for trade? Oh. Oh, okay. So here's some uh, illicit things. I don't know that we have a lot to uh, we just trade him some junk, right? Just get rid of some of these. Kerosene. Needles. You know, we don't need the money right now. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave. Honestly, just get out of here before uh, they decide to stab us or anything. Okay. So these, these might be the warehouses down here. could be okay I think we should go ask the canes about Reuben because I don't think searching all of the warehouses is a good idea I was honestly just hoping if I picked that option it would mark on my map where the warehouses are because I don't know which of these buildings are supposed to be warehouses I just kind of want to know um, if we've got some time to kill, as I imagine we do, we can at least go do this little mission for, um, for Vlad the Younger. Maybe get him a little bit more on our side. Alright, let's go talk to the priest first. See what she wants to, uh... Perhaps turning inside out will help? Okay, we've had this discussion with her before. What can I find? Clean water. Store water in homemade reservoirs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it up. Okay. It's better not to ask. Silence <laughs> is golden. There's runaway hiding here. Why would I? Uh, he's in danger. I'm here to help. He's a butcher. He won't talk to you. You wouldn't understand him. He's been here for more than a day, but even I can't get him to talk. It is I who'd rather tell you something. What do you want to tell me? Big Vlad has plugged the termitary up for a reason. The butcher's mumbling is all over the place, but if you listen carefully, you'll make out tales of such horrors that I get shivers all over. Thousands of people have lost their minds all at once there. Many have died. Something's brewing inside. Um, can you lead the runway out of town? Why? The area's entertaining me, and it's dangerous to go out in the step anyway. What if his pursuers rip me apart in the streets? What if they think I'm a shabnak adir? What can you offer me in return for the service? Um... What do you want? Ask a small favor of you in four days. Don't worry, you won't have to cut your arm off while you do it. Sure. Fine, I'll take care of the butcher and he'll disappear. Consider him non-existent, but now you must leave. Don't try watching the doors, you won't see anything anyway. And tell the old Gimskis thick-headed bloodhounds they have no business here. I harbor no killers. Deal. I'll go tell Lad that what's-his-face died. I don't know if that means I failed the mission. Let's go try and tell Vlad that I uh, I got rid of him. Find my way back over there. Oh, there you are. Katarina thinks Clara is a messenger from heaven. <laughs> yeah, right. 
Okay, so I can't talk to him about the guy. I guess I, I have to go and actually kill him if I want to complete the mission for Vlad. What do you think about Simon's death? It is known that Simon had limited his social activity just before his departure. He only received two visitors. I know nothing of the first, but the second was none other than Isidore Barak. The fact that he was killed the same night makes you think, doesn't it? Killer took out a witness. Uh, yeah, that's, I think, a better one. Or an accomplice. Isidore was a complicated man. Have I told you about his position in the kin? He used to be a very well-respected person there, and I can't say everyone liked it. Um, what do you mean? Isidore wasn't a doctor. He was more of a herbalist. He never studied medicine. All his recipes were about plants and roots, so to speak. He was knowledgeable, true. A sorcerer, if you will, but a very different one from Simon, an earthen sorcerer. I've never heard that Simon used to be a sorcerer before. Simon was a thergist. Isidore was a witch doctor. And you think Isidore the witch doctor has managed to achieve the unachievable? A possible theory, but rather, rather questionable. Okay, can I get anything else from you? Or is Don't it just... tell me, that's not... Okay, that's all. Is there anything else in here? There's a well. I can't jump down the well. Nor can I... This is all, like, locked off with barbed wire. Oh, alright. Can't open that door. Eh, drawing of a bull. Interesting. Alright, well, absent anything else to do, uh, let's go talk to Georgie Kane about, I think it was Georgie, about um, the medic. Whose name I'm completely forgetting? Ruben? Hello, Georgie. I have a heartache. Um, I'm Dr. Southern in your town. Stanislav Rubin, that's right. Most competent is for his apprentices. Do you trust this Rubin? How do I get to know him? Rubin will come here tonight to get acquainted then. Um, okay. The town will meet its death at the I'd like to examine your brother's body. Set for his door, Bronx must accomplish it. Yada, no pathologist. Let me know once Ruben arrives. I expect him to join you in the evening no earlier than 11 o'clock. Why so late? Personally, asked him to come no later than midnight. Don't let it worry you. Several occasions, excessive haste. Okay. 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 All right. So we have until 11 to meet. What's his face? I don't know where else I would find Ruben, because he doesn't seem to be anywhere. We can ask around, I suppose, but unfortunately, I don't have the option of just going out to people and being like, hey, do you know where Ruben is? Um, because, you know, it's a video game and all the dialogue's pre-written. So, uh, we'll just go around and see what information we can find out from other people that we've been instructed to you know, have words with. Hi. There's more life in me that can be lived. What exactly did you see in that dream of yours, one that had to do with me? Terrifying battle is ahead of you. No one has ever told you about your fate. I'll be the first to know that I admire you in advance, regardless of the outcome. Fight a foe that few can defeat, regardless of the outcome. Clash with your foe like a dragon slayer, but your weapon will turn against you. Striking at the heart, you will end up with your own flesh torn. Every drop of blood you squeeze out of that heart will turn into a gulp of yours. If your foe escapes you, penetrates you, or saddles you, you will hear malicious laughter in your ears. And my crestfallen thing. So it's about the murderer. Well, I will make them regret your tears, whoever they are. Okay, can I ask the you anything else? The wait is over. Okay, that seems to be that. All right. So we can't talk to Ruben until 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm not positive if 11 o'clock is before or after our uh, our time limit runs out and we die. Hopefully it's after. That would be, you know, best for us. Hello. I'm on my last legs. I can't take it anymore. Here to examine. Oh, oh, this is Ruben. I hope you haven't touched it yet. Evan, is it a problem? 
Simon's body, wherever it is, poses a dire threat. I suspect he has died of contagious threat of an epidemic. Crucible needs to be quarantined. Any access to the body should be forbidden. Are you sure? Well, it doesn't matter anyway. If it is that thing again, what do you think it is? Judging from what I've found so far, it could be Febris, Typhoidia, or Plague. I don't believe it. A second outbreak. Wait a second, I need to regain my senses. Are you sure about this? Do you mean what you say? I am, and I do. If it's the Sand Plague, Master's death was so untimely. If it's the Sand Plague, we only have a few more days to live. You see, I have no idea how to stop it. No one does. So you're already familiar with the disease? I'm only making assumptions. I don't want to believe this. I'd rather have any other plague than this. We have no time to waste. The body must be inspected, isolated, destroyed if necessary. We must take protective measures for that, of course. We need your diagnosis before we can provide reasonable protection. At the moment, you can only buy yellow immunity boosters at the drugstore. They are no good, but I'll try to do something about this. We'll need to take some remedies from Master's old workplace. Did you know he was murdered by his son? An atrocity. His son has nothing to do with this. I presume his daughter was infected by Simon and died of the same disease. Um... I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm gonna go with this one. You're right. Let's make haste. I'll get everything ready for the examination. Meanwhile, let's arrange for the body to be isolated. Kane is keeping it in a cold place. I'll keep you informed. If we act deliberately and with calm mind, we can prevent this epidemic. Stay strong. I won't leave you on your own. Okay, you are very tall and dressed like a character out of the Matrix. Interesting. Hello. Perhaps old Gimsky is setting a trap for the... Okay, you don't have anything else to say. Alright, what else have we got? Identify the killer, although I've yet to apprehend him. Reuben will collect the necessary equipment to protect him as he works with the body. In the meantime, I should inform Georgie Kane of what the primary investigation is showing. Okay, alright, good. Making headway. By just kind of accidentally walking into Reuben in someone else's house. Without even realizing it, because I didn't know what Reuben looked like. Okay. Hello, Georgie. I'm too old. Nothing can harm me anymore. I've been told of your initial verdict. You assert that Simon Kane was not killed by a human or a Shabnak demon, but died of a natural cause or succumbed to some physical sickness. Is that what you're saying? I wouldn't say he died naturally. He died of a mysterious disease. Microbes are more efficient killers than demons. Is that a hypothesis or a fact supported by evidence? A hypothesis. Mere hypothesis is not something I'm willing to accept. Furthermore, the same rhetoric is widely employed by the people who want to hinder the murder investigation at any cost. The same people are spreading false rumors of civil disobedience, which, as they would have it, took over the town. The same people would happily sacrifice human life to maintain a semblance of order. What would you say to that? Um, I'd say they're right. And I would rather say otherwise. This whole narrative is much too convenient for those covering for the murderer. The murderer who knew how to take Simon's life and keeps that secret to themselves. And what if they do not stop at that? Um, what if there is no murderer? Who are you trying to catch? Till the very last moment, I will hope that the murderer does exist. I'm not trying to disabuse you of your opinion. However, if you're right, that is a death sentence for us all. Look for the murderer as long as you can. Um... Sure, let us go looking for a coin under a street lamp just because there's more light that way. Is that what you want? Yes, something that was brought into light does not necessarily equal something studied in depth. Not everything that has been lit with the torch has been examined. We are counting on your perspicacity. Find a rational solution to the problem that we would have otherwise approached intuitively. He who is mute can see. He who is blind can scream. Ignorantian non est argumentum. Okay. The town will meet its death at the hand of Simon's murderer. That much is certain. Uh, alright. Pick a different... What if I tell him it's a proven fact? Where's this proof, then? Show me the body, Judge, and you will have it. The body is in the focus of the crucible. You cannot examine it now, and I mean that it is technically impossible. No one may see the body before a certain period of time passes. Neither Master Reuben nor you, my dear bachelor, not even myself. What am I supposed to do, then? What can I ask of you now? You have come to a conclusion already, have you not? If you haven't, then I urge you to seek out the facts as relentlessly as we do. My providence helps us if you are right. I'll discuss this with your brother, Victor, obviously. Okay. Da, 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 da. Scroll all the way down. Initial findings suggest that Simon Kane was killed by a highly contagious disease. It seems that I will not be the first to meet the killer. Dr. Rubin has better chances at that. I just cannot help but think that were Katarina's prophecies come true, it would have made the situation even more complicated than it already is. 
Okay. So, it's got the three stars next to it. I think that means that it's completed, but I'll go talk to Victor. See what he has to say about the whole deal. And otherwise, we've got some time before they'll let us examine the body. I see Ruben is gone. The true way to be deceived. Oh, okay. So I, I can't talk to you. Well, um... So I'm pretty confident that these three little stars here mean, you know, it's it's done. So I hope that's what that means. Because um, I don't know where we would go from here other than just waiting for Ribbon to finish his preparations and for us to have access to the body. Uh, with that in mind, we could go check out Anna's place. See what we can do about the uh, dead body she's got over there. All right, here's Anna's house. Here's her dead body. Hi. What do you all want from us? Who the hell are you? Why have you donned this dreadful outfit? What's wrong with my outfit? It's snakeskin. Are you a performer, a circus actor, a tamer? Tell me the truth. Uh, I'm a scientist, a professor, do you understand? I thought so. I knew someone like you would pay me a visit very soon. How horrible. What's horrible? Everything's horrible. You came to, af you know, after me, right? I, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. Shabnak is an evil man-eater made of clay and bones. She's the murderer. He's dead. Yep. It does not take a doctor to see that. I was so scared he barged in here all bloody, I thought he was sent here, but he didn't try to attack me. Just look at those hideous wounds. It's like he was cut with precision to mangle the body as much as possible. Who would do something like this? An experienced surgeon, someone who knows anatomy. His sinews are cut. He's mumbling something to that extent. There's this hunt for Simon Kane's murderer going on, right? Well, they mistook this guy for the culprit, even though he's actually a hunter, not a huntee. Simon's murderer that's wounded him so horribly, wasn't it? Um, he should be taken to the morgue. There's a good chance he'll be identified there. We don't have a morgue in town. When someone dies, a small service is held, and then they're buried by the family. That's the local tradition. Oh, and there's been no murders since I moved here. It's just so horrible. If this is how it's going to go now, whatever happened to us? Um, call for someone to test the death and take the body away. Just don't call anyone here, okay? Please, I'm begging you. They find a dead man in my house. It's so hard to explain, but I promise I'll do so later. When we have the time. I didn't kill him, I swear, and I couldn't have mutilated him so horrendously. Why are you so anxious all of a sudden? Many people would be more than happy to accredit this blood to my hands. They just need an excuse, a chance to grab me by the arm. Then they'll twist it so hard that I'll even confess. Just help me bury him, will you? I can see a spark of kindness in you. Go to the cemetery and tell the caretaker there's someone less than living in my house. The caretaker won't go asking unnecessary questions. She isn't much of a talker. People even used to think she was mute, but she's so kind, a true angel. Some people would gladly die to be taken care of by someone like her. Is she underage? Okay, we've had all this discussion before. Uh, yeah, all right, we'll, we'll help you. Go find the, uh, find the caretaker then. Oh, it stopped raining too. All right, is the caretaker actually on this time? Oh, 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 there's two of you. Uh... Are you the caretaker? Caretaker's been pushing up daisies for five years now. Turned to grass already, all excited to bask in the sun. Me, I'll have to endure them hardships for a long time still. Uh, for a long time, you say? Who knows? Let me think. Have you, you seen a guy, like, all wounded around here? We're sort of worried about him. Something may have happened to him. You never know. He's sort of dear to us. Uh, no. I don't think you guys are the right people to talk to. Need kind sir. I'm looking for Grace. Ah, the caretaker gal. No Grace around here, as you can see. That place is completely graceless. Um, worried about me personally. I wouldn't have come here on my own feet, now would I? Putting someone six feet under without any roaring thunder. Process demands meticulousness, kind sir. You know that. How long since the stiff's gone stiff? No idea. You bring two thousand here, kind sir. We'll bury the devil himself and sing a pretty tune for you to boot. You gotta put even the Shabnak Adig back into the ground for 2,000. Some ain't pretty, I know, but the times ain't killer on the looks either. Can show the kind sir a way out, by the way. 
Big city man that I can feel a versed away. Your equipment would cost a fortune in our shops. The poor morons would give you their souls for it. They buy all sorts of crap anyways. They got loads of money saved up right now. What with the train coming soon and all. But them folks are addicted to not starving, so they're gradually selling their stuff. You can become a rich man in a few hours if you play your cards right. Follow your advice. Okay, well, uh, I don't think you guys are the people that I want to talk to about this. Other tasks. Greedy grave diggers and uh, since Mary suggest I pawn some of my belongings around up the cash. Uh, let's see if we can't find Grace around here somewhere. Because otherwise, I don't really want to pay these guys 2,000, uh, 2,000 whatever currency for this. I'd rather just, like, not, not do the mission at all at that point. don't know where Grace might be. I expect she's out here somewhere. At least that would be my guess. She could be anywhere, really. It's a, you know, decently sized town. I, I dislike that they were asking specifically about the dude who was all cut up. It does make it seem like they were involved in you know, killing him. And it makes me really not want to tell them where he is or what happened to him. But I don't see any eh. What is this? Can I read this? Sort of. Is this legit far here lies. Oh, my, my Russian is very rusty. Farhad? Farksad? I can't remember what sound the X makes. Etot. Pamyatnik. No, no, this is all well above the tiny bits of Russian that I still remember. Alright, unfortunate. I assume if it was, you know story important probably have a, a translation um hmm okay well that I think is a decent place to end for now I don't know where we would go to find grace unfortunately so I think we're gonna have to leave that one for the moment either way thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode goodbye